<laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. But I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I Autumn have to. Reason he get in. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. So it's strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And um, what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was uh. that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears enough, are right? not Sweet delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loaves. <Stop it. laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I um, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No. I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Find out who is helping Lord Whitehill.
It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? secrets just yet. <gasps> it seems so calm out there. In a storm in here. Please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the goal. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, the bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Lyman. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister. Shit. Huh. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? 
I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals, huh? Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Simon! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Darwin. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. She asked me not to tell anyone. But Sarah is a bastard. <laughs> are you certain? She was born Sarah Flowers. The Tyrells renamed her. Oh, incredibly disappointing. She seems so refined. I was certain she was born a lady. She's still a lovely person, though. And if you really like her... She's a liar, Mira. And she's low-born. I'm afraid my admiration ends here. Thank you for being honest with me. It was the least I could do. And now, Lord Tarwick... It's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. Poppy, Poppy, um... Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros Poppy, to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to undo. Lady Mira?
So he's addicted to opium. Well, you said her family's dead, so if I were to vouch for her family, I don't really know if he's dead or not, so I can't really vouch. If I were to tell her the real secret, I mean, tell him the real secret, then that means I would have betrayed her. So by telling her she's a bastard, that telling that she's actually a liar but a good person that's keeping like both of them safe, especially one which I really don't know is the truth or not. Let's go, I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh, she's talking to Sarah Margaret. I don't know, Sarah. It is, of course, up to you. I just ask that you think about it. Mira has proven herself to be an unreliable handmaiden at best. She's been dealing with Lord Tyrion behind my back. Mira wouldn't do anything to hurt you, Lady Marjorie. I know she cares about you. Do not make the mistake of thinking people who care about you will never betray you, especially someone who has so much left to lose. You mean her family? You don't know what desires lurk in her heart. Mira wouldn't. Anyone would. Remember that. And that's just saying you don't know how her down. Or that well then. the same way anymore. Oh, is there a thing here? Yes, to tell do we talk to Lyman? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's... an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I knew you were bluffing. Now, leave me alone. I won't leave this alone. Then out with it. You've been drinking more than wine, Lord Lyman. What? What do you... I know about the milk of the poppy. And what happened at Lannisport. No, you can't. No one can know. If you want me to keep it quiet, tell me about Andros. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well... Now you know, too. There. You got what you wanted. 
But if you tell anyone what you heard about me, how long? Those cell swords won't be the only thing you have to worry about. I know. What did I tell you? It doesn't matter anymore, Andros. She knows everything. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. See that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. Oh, we'll have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. Try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Right, what? It's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. You don't think? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm Paul. Oh. Oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend. Or I'll make him scream first. You'll be all right. Stop! Please! You don't like it! You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon! Talk about this. Okay, I guess not. Thanks. Pre 
appreciate it. Fuck! Potter! Dude, he's really quick time to come fast. the last of our supplies. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I don't know what I would have done. I wish I had killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, good, there's been good. a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could gather information. See how fortified their castle really is. Well, that's true, I suppose. If we're to mount an assault. We'd only do that if they still held Ryan. But now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. And we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, we'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I'll bring Sir Royland Royland comes with us. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Hmm. Very well. 
Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even and something find a dangerous. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, mother. He kicked me in the roof, I took his eye. I say that's a fair trade. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Theron, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kieran will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what you have to do, and get your people Didn't she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. No problem here. As long as we get the reward you promised. You will have it. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Avoids the main street. Let's just get this over with.
What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You ask me which way. This is it. And we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. You learn to cross part. I told someone how to take out. My is the wash. Shall she? Shall she look wash? Scuda juntas wa. Yellow one, Misha. My is the wash. Shall she look wash? Spalsa washka. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Vesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! It's too easy for a man like him. I'll make sure he feels it. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. <sighs> my, my best sky out of the dot. Get him go. What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Go ahead, Beska. <laughs> What have 
you done? You don't know the story. Let's go. Come on. Gonna tell me he's a fucking wildly. Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Poke. Ow! Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh. oh. The medicine and bandages I took from the beginning. He still to be had so it. Tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. oh. You got anything to drink? This far north, and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something. Please. I'll see what I can find. I didn't even know that, that he still had um, the medicinal and the bandages on him. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. Just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Want to kill it yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! You're outnumbered. You can't fight all of us. Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. 